So for this video, we're going to continue building our prototype. And what we're going to do is add some of these elements. And we're also going to add these tick marks on the side here that show up when I uh, press down and start to drag our slider that we've created. Uh, so let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is add our tick marks on the side. Okay, And what I want is one tick mark for every degree option that I have for my slider. So down here I should have one tick mark and up here I should have a tick mark and I should have another tick mark for all of the uh, ones in between. So there should be 40 six tick marks sorry 41 tick marks because there are as a range of 40 from 45 to 85 but you actually count both 45 and 85 so that would mean you add one so let's try it let's see if my uh, my math is right we're gonna add a container I'm gonna make this the length of the uh, of the height of our phone I'm going to make it with 20 points. Okay. And I'm going to call it tick marks gray. And you'll see why I'm calling it gray in a moment. Let's add one tick mark. Okay. This one, I want it to be uh, five points in width and one point high. I also want the uh, color to be a little bit darker gray go all A's. Okay. And I want this one to be 120 from the top and also 10 points from our left edge. Why 120 from the top? Well, if you remember when we uh, uh, made our slider, we specified that it has a range of 120 from the top to 720 from the top. So that first tick mark should show up at 120. And let's get another tick mark in here. OK, I'm actually going to name these T. Both of those T. This is T and T. Let's call it T1. Uh, actually, let's call it T last, because that's going to be the last tick mark. And we're going to give it a Y value of 720. So that's going to be all the way down here. Now we just need to add all of the uh, tick marks in between. So I'm going to copy and just paste 40 times. OK, so that was 39 copies, plus our last, which is 40, plus our first one, which is 41. Let's see if this math works out right. So let's select all of them. Do a vertical distribute by clicking this button here. And let's zoom in and see how we're doing. All right. So it looks like 85 hits right at the top, so that's good. If we go to the bottom, that's 45, 6, 7, 8, 9. OK. So what we can see is that it's pretty close pretty close. When we zoom out, okay, I'm actually going to move our slider down, our box slider, just a bit until it hits that uh, tick mark right there. And let's see here. Yeah, so 60. So it looks like I'm a little bit too high when we go down one. OK, so let's preview that. 68, 69, 70. OK, it's looking all right. Now I'm going to add some of the uh, numbers in here. And it's a bit tedious, so I'll just do that on my own. And uh, see you in a bit. All right, so as you can see, I've added all of those numbers in these tick marks right here 
just by counting. And uh, now what I need to do is select all of those and drag them inside of my tick marks gray. Just to uh, keep with convention, I'm going to call this box tick marks gray. Okay, and I can collapse that to um, uh, to clean up the layers uh, palette over here. Uh, one thing I did that you'll notice if I zoom in here is I actually uh, removed the tick mark where these numbers are. Okay, so now what I what I'm looking at when I go to my preview is when I go up it's pretty good about sticking to um, the right temperature uh, tick mark that I that I've given it so they're aligning pretty good okay now what I want to do is have these tick marks come in when I start to drag so they're not always there so what I'm going to do is go to my box tick marks gray and I'm going to give it a position of negative 20. All right. Now what I want to happen is when I start to drag this, these are going to slide in. So I go to add a trigger and I say touch down. What that means is as soon as I touch down on this slider here, these are going to come over. So touch down, not on the box tick marks, but on the box slider. And then I want to move the box tick marks. Instead of move by, I'm going to move to 0. Because they're 20 out from the edge, and I'm just going to have move to 0. So now, when I press down, they don't keep moving over like that. But I do want them to move back in when I'm done. So for that, I'm going to add a touch up. All right, when I touch up, on the box slider, I'm going to move the box tick, mark, tick marks gray back to where they came from. All right, so that's a negative 20. So let's try it. Let's zoom in. There we go. So every time I'm touching down on this, they slide right in and slide out. Now, if you notice, that gray looks a little bit hard to read. Uh, when it's on top of that orange. So what I really want is to copy these tick marks here and I'm going to call this copy box tick marks white. So I'm going to go in here and select all of my text make that white and then select all of my tick marks and I'm going to make that one, those white as well. Okay. So, what I'm also going to do for these tick marks here is I'm going to make a mask. Now, this mask is just going to be a, a rectangle. I'm going to put that rectangle right here because I only want the white to show up uh, on the orange. And I'm going to have this mask extend to the height of the slider. And I'm going to make it 20 points in width. OK. I'm going to take its fill. And uh, I don't care about the color. I just care about this fill over here uh, being 0. All right. So now what I'm going to do is click Use as Mask. And anything that's above this mask is going to be masked by that shape. So I'm going to drag that down here. Let's drag it again until all of these, let's see, I dragged it too far. There we go. I'm going to rename it Mask. Now all of my tick marks are being masked by this shape. OK? Um, so, actually what I need to do is, uh, is drag this out a little bit. So that has a width of 40. Okay. All right. 
So now let's try our, let's preview this. Okay, so what we're seeing is just the gray ticks. That's because we haven't told it to bring in the white ticks either. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this move right here and paste it and then change this to box tick marks white. I'm gonna do the same thing for touch up, copy, paste, box tick marks white. All right, go to our preview. There we go. Now, we don't see that mask moving. So that's what we're going to do next, is we're going to make that mask move with this so that those tick marks are white on top of this slider and gray on top of this top area. Okay. So right now what's happening is that mask is actually moving with everything else because it's inside of Tix Marks White. So that was actually a mistake on my part. I'm going to take this I'm going to take this mask and actually just drag it to the top. I'm going to put this Tick Marks White on top of it. Okay. And this mask, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually chain it to the top Y position of our slider. So to do that, we add a trigger. And we chain box slider, the Y value of that. And we move our mask. Okay, And hit, this part is a little bit tricky. So this is saying, what is the Y of the box slider? And it wants me to give it a range. Well, I already know the range is going to be 120. That's the minimum Y position. And the bottom Y position is going to be 720. We know that because we set the custom limit between 120 and 720. Okay. So this is saying, well, I'm going to link these two values to the X values of the mask itself. So I don't want the X value to change at all. So I'm just going to make those zero. But the Y values, we're going to actually mimic the same range over here. So when this is 120, that mask is going to be 120. When the slider is 720, I want the mask to also be at 720. Okay. So let's preview that. There we go. Let me zoom in. So what you can see is that the mask is showing the white on top of the slider, but it's not being revealed so that we can see the gray tick marks behind the slider. And it looks pretty good. So let's pause there and move on to the next video.